Destination America, Destination America, Vish Prasad. As I came of age, my mom decided to get me arranged married. She came up to me and said, Oh, Monu, you're getting so old. I have to find you a nice wife. <laughs> what? I don't even allow my mom to pick my clothes. When she does, and I wear them, they're too huge for me. I tell mom, Mom, this is too huge for me. Don't worry, Monu, you will grow into it. <laughs> How can I let her pick my wife? So to escape from this draconian tradition of arranged marriages, I decided to flee the country. <laughs> I took a globe, I spun it around, and I stuck my finger. Where do I hit? Rochester, New York. <laughs> I do some research. I can go there and do my master's at RIT. And it's the third biggest city in New York. Nothing can go wrong with that. <laughs> So I pack my bag, get my air ticket, I'm headed to the airport, and my family comes to drop me. And there, there are 100 people. I have 100 people in my family. <laughs> now, Indians are highly hypocritical people. We frown about talking about physical relationship between a man and woman, and public acts of affection is frowned upon. But yet we have the second biggest population in the world. <laughs> Somebody must be doing it. <laughs> I thought I should look up what the American culture is all about. So I, I knew that this wouldn't work. This is what I used to wear in India. So I thought I'll, I'll get a jacket. Uh, because I watched a couple movies. One was The Men in Black, and one was The Matrix. Everybody was wearing clothes in that. And I thought everybody was formal in the US. So there I am, riding in the airport, saying bye to my parents, and I'm taking this 20-hour flight to New York. And the flight is going on and on. It's not landing. And it's after 20 hours. And I see it's on landing gear. I can't even go to the bathroom, and I really want to go. I call the flight attendant and ask her. I really want to go. When are we going to land? And she says, Oh, sir, the movie is not over yet. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys haven't watched an Indian movie, I'm going to break it down for you. How many of you have watched an Indian movie? Please show of hands. Oh, my condolences. <laughs> <laughs> so for the rest of you, here, the picture this. A lady is walking in the pastures, and then it starts raining. Instead of going for cover or getting an umbrella, she starts running. Ah! And out of nowhere, there's this guy who comes, and he looks at her like that, with a typical Indian pose. You know, I am the cool guy. And he seemed to have planted a tree there, because there wasn't any tree there. It's totally illogical. And then they meet eye to eye, and the guy is like, and then, the girl, they meet eye to eye and they start running to each other. They start running, running, come close to each other, and they pass each other. <laughs> Instead of embracing each other, they feel that a game of hide and seek is what they want to play. Ultimately, they come towards each other and they're like having a moment there. Oh, baby, I'm so happy to meet you. They come close, they're tilting, and they're almost there. And I'm like at the edge of the seat, I really want to go, but I want to see how they kiss. <laughs> and what does the girl do? She starts singing again! Ah! I can't take this anymore! And I'm, I'm just waiting for the flight to land, and ultimately we land at JFK. And I head straight for the bathroom. <laughs> uh, and after a good uh, unloading session, I, <laughs> I'm looking for my usual way to clean myself. And it is not there. There are rolls of paper. That's not how Indians do it. We need water and soap. And we clean ourselves that way. What can a roll of paper do? I'm, I thought I knew everything about America. I'm wearing a coat, but I can't even wash myself. I look, I look around and think to my god grandma, please help me. And there I find a bottle of water. Wow, I'm going to use this. No, I'm not going to tell anyone. But I'm going to use that. It was bigger than this, I'm sorry. <laughs> and so I use that, and I, I come out. 
And, but then I realized how important a bottle of water is, so I went directly to the counter to get, a, get another bottle of distilled water. And Indians are pretty cheap skates because where we come, where things are pretty cheap in the country and when you convert it's very expensive here. So over the counter, I asked for a bottle of water and the lady says, it's $4. For $4, I can get a whole truckload of wa distilled water in India. So I'm like, I take $3.50 in it. There you go. Oh, what about uh, 50 cents? You can keep it. No, I mean, you owe me 50 cents. <laughs> I owe you, you owe me. <laughs> I had to pay another 50 cents to get that water. But then I had to plead to immigration, and the guy there, he looks at my passport, he reads, I can't even pronounce your name. What's your name? I'm like, it's Vishwanath. What? It's okay, sir, you can call me a Vish. And there I was christened the American name Vish. And Vishwanath means leader of the world. And you know what Vish means? Poison. <laughs> <laughs> so ultimately, I'm headed directly to Rochester. I take the flight to Rochester. I land in Rochester. And boy, was my bubble broken. I thought it was a huge town. And what I see are very few flights in a small township. I had to learn a lot in my life here in Rochester. But I stuck around for five years until I go back to get arranged married. <laughs> <laughs>